Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode and the final episode of FTV Skies. So guess them. Now on the last episode we did something risky. Yes, we made this guy right over here, the super critical face shifter or the SPS. Uh, but we were having some issues with power, but as you guys can see, everything's stable. Nothing exploded, so we're good, right? Yeah, I think we're good. So basically, uh, when I left, I didn't even actually give power to the, to the thing here to actually give me antimatter. I just hooked this on right now, like this point was not here. So I just turned it on and now we're actually producing antimatter pellets. Now, we do have a shortage in power but i believe we are finished with everything that requires well power because i already submitted those and if you take a look at the final quests this is botania crafting and this is art of oak crafting so magic stuff so it doesn't really need power i also made a couple of extra power generation things for example this one this liquid dt fuel it's actually using this bad boy over here this liquid dt fuel to actually produces a little bit of power it it's not much but it produces some power back into the system and then this guy produces a little bit more now this is a nether star my civil generator this bad boy takes nether stars and as you can see it immediately gives us 4k power uh, per tick which is pretty pretty good and we could do more of these if we wanted uh but right now i believe these ones are enough and how am i actually doing this well i had to look up some extra machines so first of all we had this the requester i told him to make me 64 nether stars um to have at least 64 nether stars so it's pretty much constantly crafting nether stars if we take a look here we will, should always have like 64 of them now the recipe i'm doing for this is this one it's using soul sand Wither Skeleton Skulls and a Generalized Ender Prediction. Now, this one we already had automated, uh, so this one's not that not that much of a big deal. But we did have to automate Wither Skeleton Skulls and Soul Sand. Now, Soul Sand, it's pretty easy to automate with pedestals, but I don't think I have it anywhere at the moment. Uh, so what I did was just teach me, teach the system, this crafting recipe that takes in one sand and one generalized nether prediction and it gives me soul sand and for the wither skeleton skulls i'm using the wither skeleton prediction matrix uh, or prediction to give me this to give me three wither skeleton skulls now this will give me a lot of wither skeleton skulls uh i'm hoping we are actually gaining yeah we're gaining we had 650 now we have 890 you can also use bees to automate these skulls which is pretty easy and the only thing i actually did to farm those was put this guy here i put this guy here this data model uh with some prediction matrix being pumped in and then it pumps into this drawer and the drawer puts it into here and then i have all of these hooked up to my system now so i have access to everything that's inside here and there we go after a little bit of crafting we now have this mission completed and collect that and we have this one already completed from last episode now we're only missing this thing from ars nouveau which is also pretty simple so i guess we can go and do this together uh, i guess i can actually take this with me <laughs> might as well right we may need some swords for this so we have a creative source chart so we we should be okay right now these wings are pretty simple all we need to do is make this blank thread which i believe i have everything for this uh if we type blank thread we do not have mage womb i mean we do have some mage womb threads so there we go we have the blank thread and then we gotta make the flying gill glyph thread of gliding i thought this was a glyph for some reason uh there we go so now some need some air essences pretty easy with some feathers wheel and wings and then any arrow and then some sword gems and then we need two of these with an elytra i believe i have extra 
elytras i do that's just about perfect so this should be pretty easy and there we go it is now crafting us or glyph of gliding threat of gliding and why you're not doing it oh there you go and just like that guys we submit this in and we have officially ended the pack well of course there is all the other quest lines that we could actually go through but most of them like except the modded ones like these ones that are specific for mods uh, they do have kind of a streamline which i kind of find very very nice uh, but some of uh, these ones they do have like just like a plethora of options that you can actually go to and do crazy tons of craftings and stuff like that because it's mostly around giving you options than any other thing uh for example that one the digital one like i did nothing with laser io uh this one uh i did pretty much nothing as well uh, this one, I don't really know why this one isn't finished. I guess I... I don't know. I've, I haven't hold, held an Endocide Mesh or, or something. Uh, I guess I need to submit some Quartz there. Hold on. Can we submit some Quartz? Or... And can, can we finish that quest? Uh, maybe it's nether wart. Oh, for some reason it's not really, like, finishing the quest for me. I don't really understand why. So, yeah, some of these missions are a little bit buggy, but it's alright. I do want to check one thing, though. We did get this cheaty storage disk. Now, does this go into here? No. <laughs> so this is literally an item only and only for refined storage and i'm uh, i have applied the logistics which honestly uh if we're gonna do a recap i'm gonna do a recap yeah we're gonna let's do a little bit of a recap so i kind of i kind of feel like i should do a little bit of a recap of this mod pack because it's pretty well made pretty well made now we did start like with this here which i'm really really proud of our greenhouse which looks pretty pretty cool very very functional and pretty fast growing as you can see on the crops so this is a pretty good design uh i made it myself i didn't copy it out of anybody now if anybody made this design as well well it's kind of self-explanatory just put terra glass in there uh, sprinklers in the middle and you can even boost some of these things as you can see with uh, the soils and other things so this is not like super optimized but it's it's decent uh, we do have some magic stuff that i kind of did not want to put into there uh into the main base because it's a little bit janky with how some of these things work and we did a lot of ex experimenting with the pack so there's a lot of random sections here though i did kind of made elemental craft be here and botania stuff be here of course our starter house is still very very functional we do have a lot of compact machines into here uh, still uh yeah you can see this one is producing us our materials with a bunch a bunch a bunch of sieves uh we have this one which was what i was using when i made the what we just saw the greenhouse so that i was using this setup to farm some terrace so the soils and we have this one that doesn't quite show what it is but it is this is the latex room i think this is the latex room but it's not kind of showing uh we do have our machines here we have the tetra area with some villagers into here we do have our little bit of uh, kitchen which is pretty much functional uh of course we do have this guy the kitchen station uh which basically allows us to go here and we have access to all of our cooking recipes so this is very 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 good uh, can I get this one? Let's eat this. Can we eat this? No, we probably can't. Yeah, we probably can't eat that one. Uh, we have our bedroom, which is looking pretty, pretty good. Also very, very functioning, functional when we're building, because it has all the other, uh, all of the carpenter stations, botany stations, the mason one. Like we use all of these things while we're building. 
course down here a little beginner power setup which kind of needed a very very big upgrade and i can see that this might be one of the reasons why our system is not like super super fully powered up because these guys may not be no they seem to be pretty much stable so that seems to be okay yeah we have our storage system or part of it i guess uh the drawer side at least which is then hooked up to our main system with a quantum ring and yeah i really had a blast exploring applied energistics uh, i guess if i had to say one of the mods that i learned with the most was definitely applied energistics uh, i had a bunch of fun making this space right here and like having this system here that connects to all the other rooms and then you have the export and the importance we, we didn't even use like half of the potential of the system or maybe we kind of did use like half or something yeah because this side is nearly fully done this has a couple this one also has more than a couple this one only has one yeah we, we had a lot of room to keep expanding our applied energistic system with a bunch of channels uh which is pretty good i'm pr really proud of how this little room here looks and works because it's very very functional uh with all of these machines being hooked up and perfectly making them like powering themselves i had this guy here because i had someone the guy dropping here stuff so that's why i have this absorption hopper there uh we do have the cards which i stored away and ideally i would still connect these rooms this one and this one with these hallways uh the thing is i didn't even actually do a lot of connecting over there uh neither over there like it's it's pretty simple what's happening there uh this guy has a little bit more complicated systems going in because it has a lot of uh, ports coming in you know, i mean it only says one one and doesn't even have one coming from there because I, I i took that one off uh but it has a lot of things because that's the b side of things and if you even go over there you can see that's uh, <laughs> a lot of ports and stuff going in yeah from the middle because i have a lot of importers and exporters so it imports uh the bottles and then it exports the the things the the comps and then the any comps they come over here and then they get produced now of course this is empty because as soon as it gets one well it's pretty much processed immediately and we also have these boys burners which are burning infinitely which is amazing by the way uh we have this guy which is still trading i guess for blaze rods and blaze cakes so i guess you can keep at it buddy and then over on this side we have our little create setup which has a boiler which could be very very much improved on as you can see it's not even running at full heat capacity uh if we did have um well we do have a creative place cake this only means that they run infinitely which i already made them do that uh we needed to fuel them probably dt fuel yeah we could feed them dt fuel and they would run at a super blaze speed and that would definitely help the setup over here uh but this setup doesn't need a lot it just has a the boiler over here giving us a lot of power which is then powering other machines around the base we have this side which is also pretty fun to mess with uh and automating the industrial foregoing stuff and actually automating with this with the patterns i believe that the applied energy six is a pretty pretty well thought up pack um because it allows you for a lot of things like really 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 a lot of things fine storage also does a very good work uh oh we're out of really so maybe we can just speed this guy up and uh, yeah we can fill that guy back up pretty good uh, but yeah, this small pack allows you for a lot of inputs and outputs and all those things if you just know what you're doing It's a little bit tricky at the beginning But then as soon as you learn the basics how like a connection goes and then you need the channels and how the channels work Then you get a quite a good understanding of the mod and it's pretty pretty much basic from there Then of course we have the mechanism more mechanism machines like mechanisms all over my base uh making the tritium here and more tritium and these guys are making brine and then we have a launch pad so we could actually go to space and do whatever we had to do and last but not least we have this room now 
I was actually going to be improving this reactor to either make him bigger or just make the fusion reactor. Uh, I decided not to because we were so close to the end of the pack that I didn't really feel the need to it. Uh, at the moment, the Reaver is gaining power somehow, so that's pretty nice to see. And yeah, I don't know what you guys think. I, I kind of love making these laser drills as well. They look pretty cool while working. And this actually gave me a few ideas for other things. And yeah i mean i have a blast with this pack i don't know what you guys think of the pack if you're playing it if you're not playing if you like the series if you didn't like the series feel free to let me know down below i'll reply to pretty much any of you <laughs> uh yeah because i really like to engage with you guys and talk with you guys a little bit and that's pretty much why i'm doing this right now i'm just explaining and like seeing what i did and yeah over the course of the series really makes me proud yeah never forget the more barrels you have the safer you are because i went away for like 10 days and i have zero waste <laughs> i have zero nuclear waste so yeah this is definitely not an overkill definitely better safe than sorry and of course for the next thing on the channel we're gonna continue our dawncraft adventures on that pack because i'm also having a blast there it really gives a, a different feel to minecraft you know just being more combat focused it's really really fun uh but then afterwards or even through the middle of those i have a new pack i have access to a new pack so please if you want to see that pack let me know down below uh it's still in early access uh so i don't know if you guys want to see it if you don't want to see it you can guys definitely see it if you want to i can do some videos on it it's a 1.16.5 though because it has some very old mechanics i mean not very old very old by today's standards i guess uh, because it's a little bit more retro i guess i guess you can call it retro already because uh, we're up, up to 120 on minecraft and that's 1.16 so four patches behind it's quite a big deal but i guess i'm done talking with you guys for now and don't forget if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't and see you in the next one bye